Hey guys, right, if you're a regular watcher of these videos of mine on Petals of the Paving Slabs, you will have realised by now that mine is not a perfect garden. Um, and I like to show you the mistakes and the problems just as much as I like to show you my successes. Because that's what gardening's all about. It's not always, excuse the pun, <laughs> it's not always rosy. So, this here, these spots... I'm 95% certain that's what we call powdery mildew. Not downy mildew and not grey mould. I think that's powdery mildew. And it's mainly attacking my um, Rollet squash plant. It does attack members of the Kirky Bit family. Uh, so that's one of the, the little facts that I've learned about it that's helped me narrow it down. Um, and I think the name's quite apt. It's like, well, it's mildew, basically. It's mould. It's, it's, it's actually a fungus, but it looks mouldy and it's powdery. And it's spread by spores. And these spores are able to take hold when you've got damp, humid, and not always bright sunlit areas as well. So I'm in my little polytunnel in, um, in my backyard. And because of where I've put it to give it some shelter from the wind, it does actually not get full sunlight during, during the day. So these spores apparently can't survive full sunlight. The UV in the light destroys them. So I, basically what I've done in this little polytunnel is I've created the, the, the perfect atmosphere for this to spread. Um, it's humid, slightly shady, and it's damp. So it's just one of them things. Now luckily for me, this is mid-September and I am now in the process of clearing out all these plants. I've had cucumbers, squashes, um, cucumelons because they've all pretty much stopped growing and fruiting now. But um, one, one thing I'm not going to do with these leaves that have the, the powdery mildew is I'm not going to compost them because the spores can survive in the compost and all that will happen is I'll get it again next year. So I'm going to very carefully remove the affected leaves and I'll just stick them in the um, the general waste bin and get rid of them that way. So has anybody else had a, a problem with this this year? Now luckily, as I say, it's not really been a problem for me because it's at the end of my season now and I've had all the harvest. We've had more cucumbers than we know what to do with. Um, and I've just got the odd, just the odd one or two squashes left but I mean that's tiny they were, they were a lot bigger than that so we'll, we probably won't keep that there's nothing on it really uh, yeah so it's not really been a problem because my harvest has been and gone but has anyone had a problem with this has anyone had it earlier on in the year and how did you deal with it because one thing well in fact I've two things that I've heard you can use water and baking powder because what the baking powder does is it increases the alkalinity um, which this particular fungus doesn't like and you just spray your leaves with it and another thing I've heard is a water and milk solution and apparently milk's supposed to be really really effective because again it changes the pH um, to a more alkaline state so guys have any of you had this and if so what did you do about it how did you deal with it right Thanks for watching.